Hello, today we are in a Cessna in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the Cessna with the G1000 radio kit inside. It's just a stock one. I haven't got any special mods to make it into a super duper version of the radio or anything like that. So I thought it might be interesting to look at how we program a flight into the flight management computer. So let's go and have a look at the map and see where we are and the route we're going to put in. It's going to be very simple because I just want to show you the procedure. So we are at KAST, Astoria Regional, on the California coast, and we're going to fly down to Pacific City State. Or at least that's what we're going to program into the, the G1000. And we're going to go via a waypoint called Canva. OK, so KAST is the airport we are at. So first thing we do inside a Cessna is go and turn on the master battery and the avionics to on, and it will come up. And if you do get a warning pop up and starts beeping at you because obviously nothing's running, you'll see a warning flashing here in the bottom right and you can just click the alerts to make it go away or click the warning as it would appear and it will go away. So the first thing you will see on the avionics is the Garmin appears. It says press the rightmost soft key to continue. So we do that and it pulls up the screen. Okay, so you can hear the various enunciations happening inside the cockpit, which is fine. So the, the thing we're going to do is program our route. Now you will notice if you press flight plan on this screen, you get quite a small view of the flight plan. If you press flight plan on the other screen, you get the full screen to play with. So we're going to use this screen and just to help us out, we're going to switch the yokes off by clicking on them so they're not in our way. So the first thing we need to do to get the cursor to go into the flight plan window, you can see there's an FMS knob down here. This can be pushed. So as well as having an outer ring and an inner ring, it can be pushed. So if we push it, the cursor appears inside the flight plan screen. So then the next thing we do is we start keying the first letter. So we want K-A-S-T. So to key the first letter, we roll the inner knob of the dial. So as soon as we start rolling it, it's doing a search basically for what we key in. So we are going for K for the first character, so we keep rolling until we get to K. And then we use the outer ring to go to the next character. So roll it right one, and the cursor has moved to the next character. Now we want A, so we roll until we get to A. K-A-S-T we're going to put in. So roll the outer ring again to move to the next character. Now the, the letters available to us will filter down based on what we've already keyed. So it won't be the full alphabet all the time. So we're getting there. Q-R-S and it's T. So just looping through. So you can see there are letters jumping now and again because there's nothing on those letters. OK. And now we want to press Enter. And we can see we've got KAST as our first waypoint. Now we want to go to Canva for our next waypoint. So we can use this, the outer ring now, to move up and down through the waypoints that we've chosen and we can actually put in the altitude we want to be at each waypoint as well. So we're going to go for canvas so we're going to roll the inner ring to start keying the next one. So we want beginning with C, outer ring for the next character, inner ring for the next letter, canva, so A, N, so we loop through V A I press enter so cast to Canva is our first leg and then to KPFC as our destination so we start keying the first letter with the inner dial and we're going for KPFC. So K P 
F C and we can press enter on that so now we've got so you can see here the current leg has got the um, magenta arrow around it and then once we get to Canva it will automatically flick over and realize we're on the next leg okay so that's basically it we can press the inner button again and we're back out of there we can press the flight plan page to make that go away and you can see it's now drawn onto the map so our route is there to be to be followed in the aircraft does that make sense so th there's obviously an awful lot more functionality hidden away inside the uh, G1000 I just wanted today to show you how you can program the legs so if you wanted to go and change what we have keyed in you could pull the flight plan back up you can press the middle of the knob to put the cursor back in here you can use the outer ring to move around and you could edit the things you've typed in does that make sense and then when you, when you're done you press the the middle but the middle of the knob again and you're back out of there press flight plan again and it redraws the screen without the overlay okay so that's how you can program a flight plan by hand in the G1000 in the Cessna in Microsoft Flight Simulator or indeed any of the aircraft that use the G1000 okay I'll stop recording there <laughs>